Hello and welcome back. It's beautiful morning in Arizona. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Uh, so let's talk about today topic. Uh, let's talk about single baskets. So I have two baskets here, pressurized baskets and non-pressurized. So when do you use these single shots? And personally, I never use it. Actually, I did it once in the beginning. Uh, when I'm, you know, when I would start making uh, coffee videos, it's so easy and convenient. I realized the shot quality is not as good as the double. So, but I know some of you likes to use this. So this morning I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Stay tuned. Let's start with a pressurized basket first. So how can you tell from pressurized versus non-pressurized? Uh, simply by if you look at the back of a basket. The pressurized baskets say a uh, double on it. They simply say double baskets. So, so that is a telltale sign there. And also, uh, non-pressurized has more holes in it. So that's the uh, main difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out from the the double shot from the my uh, photo filter. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get out. Uh, you simply use tower to like go like this and just yank it. And you should be able to come out. And then I'm going to put the pressurized basket like that. And I like to uh, store beans separately from, uh, from the hopper because I, I, you know, I like to get as fresh as possible. So I'm just going to store it in my airtight canister. So this one is about 9, uh, about 9.5 gram here. So I'm simply doing the hopper. Uh, by the way, a uh, great thing about the pressurized basket, you don't have to worry about, you do, but not as much the ground size. Uh, my ground size, uh, my ground setting right now is six. Here's my ground setting at the moment. And give you a quick temp. So now it's a pre-infusion right now. And then pressure. So the theory behind that is you are going to pressurize the entire basket. So give you a consistent shot. That's it. And let's try this. You know why it's bitter? Uh, it's not as good. But so now, I'm going to use a single wall, or it's a non-pressurized. So by the way, the puck from uh, a pre uh, the single shot basket is not come out easily for some reason. Let me show you. I mean, watch this. With a double shot, come out pretty nicely, but whatever single just usually stuck. Maybe waste design, but again, here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, it's all stuck together. It's terrible. Here we go. Okay, just go through the razor blade. So right now, my ground setting is six. Uh, my setting is our factory set right now, so let's see it. And I'm going to measure how much um, uh, uh, how much yield on espresso shot here. I got my scale set to zero. Here we go. Again, a pre-infusion right now. Pretty much, pretty much it. So, so it's about uh, 16 gram. So it's, I got eight gram in. Actually, no. 
it was more like nine gram in and 16, uh, 16 gram out. So this is not a, the factory setting is not good personally, but let's try anyway. Uh, still bitter. Okay. It's not the single shot. The factory set on single shot is not, uh, not good. Okay, it's, I feel like it's uh, under extracted, so it doesn't have the full flavor of the shot here. So what I need to do is, again, I have to dial it in. So which means I have to use, uh, I have to program the shot and the length of time. And let's try. Okay, uh, so this time I'm going to program a single shot. Let's try again. So this time I'm going to program the single shot here. Uh, with single shot, I like to get about one ounce. So I'm going to change the ounce and okay. Simple uh, program. Uh, so program the shot is a really simple process. Simply uh, press the program button and uh, press the single cup here. And whenever you reach the one ounce, and I'm gonna stop. The pre infusion right now. Pressure is good. Seven, eight. Let's try this. Hopefully this is better than uh, last two shots here. Cheers everybody. Yeah, definitely. Definitely better than two before. But it's not as good as the double shots. So theoretically, uh, since I cut that in half, the quality, quality should be the same. But for some reason, the, the design of the single, you know what? The quality is not as good as the making from the double. So, I mean double baskets. But overall, it's not bad. I mean, I, okay. You definitely you want to uh, change the, the program setting from your factory set, uh, whenever you purchase uh, a Bravo Barista Express. And then you kind of like work from there. But I mean, if you really want to use a single shot, uh, you know what, just use the pressurized baskets, makes your life a lot easier than non-pressurized. I mean, if not, you have to program it, you got to tinker with the ground size and the amount and it's pain. Anyway, I hope uh, this video helps. I have about 100 videos related to Brista Express and uh, coffee uh, grinder. So uh, check it out and see you guys next time.